Here we are together once again for our cubby time, and I hope you've had a great week. I have had a great week, and I am all ready to start off with our cubby song, and I hope you are too. Let's sing. All right, good singing, Cubbies. Now let's have our story from your cubby book. Timothy and Cubby liked riding in the boat. They liked it so much, they didn't notice how far they had floated from the shore. Suddenly, a big gust of wind blew Timothy's cap right off. He spotted dark clouds in the sky. Whoa, a storm is coming. We'd better go back. But how? asked Cubby, staring at the water on every side of them. Hmm, maybe we can swim back, said Timothy. I've been taking swimming lessons, and the water doesn't look very deep. Cubby shook his head and shuddered. I'm not a good swimmer. Uh, remember what happened with the apple cider? Oh, yeah, said Timothy. He started thinking again. What if we yell really loud? Maybe someone will hear us and come to help. At the count of three, Timothy and Cubby yelled as loud as they could, but no one came. The boat floated quickly down the creek. Timothy closed his eyes and thought as hard as he could. I know, he shouted. Maybe someone will find my cap and guess that we're in trouble. That idea made them feel a little better, but not for long. A raindrop plopped on Timothy's head. Raindrops came faster. Soon it was raining hard. Cubby scooted close to Timothy, and they hugged each other tightly. They were wet and cold and scared. Would they ever make it home? All right, do we know what time it is? It's time to call Cubby Bear. Let's call them together. One, two, three, Cubby! Oh, hello, everyone. Um... Hi, Cubby. What are you doing? I'm keeping my head down. Why are you keeping your head down? Are you expecting it to rain? Oh, I don't know if it's supposed to rain today, but it was raining when Timothy and I were on the boat in Cubby Bear Creek, and we didn't have an umbrella. Now, I keep my head down just in case it might rain, you know? Well, Cubby, why don't you tell the boys and girls how you and Timothy ended up riding in a boat by yourselves on Cubby Bear Creek? Oh, yeah. We went down to the creek to see if Timothy's toy boat would float. And when we were there, I saw Timothy's dad's fishing boat on the shore. Timothy and I started playing in the boat, and soon it slid out into the water with Timothy and me in it. Cubby, that's so scary. You and Timothy shouldn't have gone down to the creek by yourselves and shouldn't have been playing in your, his dad's boat. Yeah, I know. And it got scarier when the storm came. A big wind blew Timothy's cap right off. Then it started raining really hard. Well, what did you do? Well, we couldn't jump out and swim, and we weren't strong enough to use the paddles. We even tried yelling for help, but no one came. <gasps> Hi, everyone. Hi, Cubby. Cubby, why do you keep tucking your head down? The sun's out. It's not going to rain today. You never know. When Timothy and I were in the boat, we didn't think it would rain either. But it did. And we got soaked. I want to stay nice and dry. Lovey Lamb, Cubby was just telling us about its adventure on Cubby Bear Creek. Have you ever been to the creek? Oh, no. I try to stay away from the water. My wool is not very pretty when it's wet. Lovey, I'm sure you're always pretty even if you're wet. But I do wish Cubby and Timothy had stayed away from the water this time. They were stuck in a boat in the rain, and they were very scared. Oh, I'm sorry you felt scared. Cubby, what did you do? 
Hmm. I just hugged Timothy as tightly as I could. At least we were together. Well, when we're scared, it's nice to know someone is with us, isn't it? Cubby, next week you're going to have to tell us how you and Timothy got off that boat. I'm glad you're safe now. Me too. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 See you next time, too. <laughs> Thanks, Ivy, for helping out. Well, kids, now it's time for our Bible lesson with Miss Kim. Hi, Cubbies. It's Miss Kim. It sounds like Cubby and Timothy were very frightened by that storm. They were stuck in a boat. They didn't have an umbrella or a way to get back home. That must have been really scary. They must have been terrified. Have you ever seen or heard a thunderstorm or a hurricane or a snowstorm? How'd that make you feel? Were you scared? Well, today, we will hear a true story from the Bible. The true story is about a time when Jesus' helpers, the disciples, felt scared during a storm. In the book of Mark in the Bible, we hear about the day that Jesus was teaching people by the sea. He sat in a boat on the water and all the people stayed on the land to listen. When the sun set and evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross the sea to the other side. So the disciples and Jesus left the crowd of people and set sail on the Sea of Galilee. At first, the sea was quiet and calm. Jesus and his disciples sailed along on the gentle waves. A soft breeze blew across the waters. It was peaceful, which was probably nice for Jesus. He had been teaching all day. Can you guess what Jesus was doing on the boat? Jesus was in the back of the boat, sleeping on a cushion. Suddenly, a terrible storm hit the sea. Giant, angry winds blew across the waters. The waves rose higher and higher and higher. The boat tossed. The boat rocked. And soon, the waves splashed into the boat, almost filling it up with water. The disciples felt frightened. They were afraid the boat was going to sink. Wake up, Jesus, wake up. Don't you care if we drown, they said. Jesus stood up and said, quiet, be still. Right away, the wind stopped. The waves stopped. The sea was as smooth as glass. Jesus said to the disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you not believe in me? The disciples looked at Jesus with big eyes. They had never seen anyone stop a storm. They asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Cubbies, have you heard the disciples' words before? These words I just read are the memory verse for the week. Let's say it together. Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Mark 4, 41. Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Mark 4, 41. Cubbies, who is Jesus? Yes, he's God's son, the Savior. But not only that, Jesus is God. Only God could make the wind and the waves obey. Why? Because he created them in the first place. The disciples were amazed by Jesus. He had power over the stormy sea. They never should have been scared because Jesus was with them. Sometimes we feel scared, don't we? Maybe it's nighttime and we hear strange sounds. <clears throat> but we don't ever have to be afraid because we know that Jesus is always with us. And when something scary happens, we can trust that Jesus loves us and cares for us because he's with us. When something scary does happen, what can we do? If we're in danger, we should try to get to a safe place if we can. We should also pray. Jesus loves when we pray to him. The Lord Jesus is our savior. When he lived on earth, he calmed the stormy sea and did so many other amazing things that we can read about in the Bible. He did all these things to show us that he's God's son, the savior. 
Let's close in prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this wonderful lesson to learn about your power and learn about your might and learn that, Lord, you can stop scary situations and, Lord, you can make the wind and the waves obey you. Lord, you have every power in heaven and earth and we are so grateful for you. And we are grateful that you hear our prayers and that you care about us and that you love us. Lord, watch over us and help us to remember that you're always there and that we can pray to you anytime we feel scared. In your name we pray.